So please tell us your name and your role in the current company you work for. I'm uh, Stefan Schaefer. I'm uh, the Chief Digital Officer for HMI Technologies here in Auckland. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I have come to New Zealand in uh, March uh, 2017, so just four months ago. And uh, I have come from Germany. I've been here to New Zealand before in uh, 97 to 99, quite some time ago. And I really liked the country. And um, I had uh, a unique uh, opportunity to come back and uh, do some interesting work here. So that's, uh, that's why I came. I have been at um, IBM uh, for 16 years before. Also, uh, I worked for IBM in uh, Wellington at that time. And um, I've been, uh, just before I joined here for the last five years, I've been working in Siemens uh, Mobility Headquarters in Munich. What does HMI do? You see our products every day uh, without knowing that they are from HMI. Uh, we have, uh, we provide uh, most of uh, New Zealand's uh, traffic management signs on the side of the road or above the motorway. Those signs are from HMI. More recently, uh, we have also got ourselves into uh, autonomous driving. So we have, uh, we are in the process of uh, launching mobility solutions in uh, Christchurch, at Christchurch Airport, as well as uh, at Sydney and, and Melbourne, uh, where we work with uh, autonomous shuttles. And so we, have, uh, we are uh, a player in the autonomous driving uh, space as well. So can you tell me what a day-to-day -day looks like for you at HMI? At HMI, I start at uh, around uh, 8.30 and uh, prepare for the day. Uh, we have a, a daily stand-up at 9.30 with uh, all the uh, developers uh, that are part of the team. Uh, we organize our work day. I um, sit down uh, quite often with customers and understand what their requirements are and uh, work with the team to uh, you know, implement the customer requirements as well as our strategic goals. So we are uh, in the midterm busy with, uh, for example, moving to cloud, inducing artificial intelligence uh, into our products and uh, improving the IoT architecture that uh, we have followed in the last uh, few years. So what does the Chief Digital Officer do? That's a very good question, especially since um, HMI has been working on digital signage since many years. But uh, due to the uh, recent technologies, there is a lot of change that's uh, um, implied to our business. Uh, for example, um, it includes uh, finding a suitable business model for uh, the times where data is open. It uh, also includes um, you know, inducing new technologies such as uh, cloud, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, and um, well, also new methodologies and techniques. Uh, for example, agile development, continuous integration, and um, these kinds of things. So a lot of that is new and uh, digitalization is, uh, you know, coming with, uh, you know, uh, requires uh, attention from the top. And uh, so that's uh, what I'm uh, really happy about that HMI recognized that. Uh, I'm reporting to the um, CEO of the company. So we hear a lot about the changes in the mobility industry. Can you expand a little bit on that? Mobility industry is, in a, is at a really interesting uh, time at the moment um, because uh, the way how we're moving people and goods is not sustainable. Um, especially Auckland has really bad traffic at times and uh, other <laughs> yeah. large cities in New Zealand as well. And um, so the transport infrastructure that's in place just cannot keep up with the demand. So we need to do something smart around that. And um, we believe that um, digital technologies can help uh, reducing traffic jams and uh, help um, you know, for people to get around more intelligent. And um, you see a lot of change also being uh, driven by uh, new technology, so uh, companies like uh, Google, like Tesla, but also Uber or Lyft are, you know, bringing a lot of change to this whole mobility space. There are actually um, 
some interesting New Zealand startups as well that, I, uh, that are important to note. For example, uh, Mevo in Wellington that does car sharing or uh, Sumi as a ride sharing service. And uh, so there are a lot of new players coming and um, these uh, very strongly IT based companies are about to disrupt the traditional players. I think a key change will be um, an improved uh, wireless network connectivity. Uh, we have uh, new network operators uh, that are already you know, rolling out their networks uh, like uh, Sigfox and KotahiNet um, based on uh, completely new wireless technologies. And um, then we, I think we'll also see more activity from the uh, existing uh, network operators like Vodafone and Spark in two degrees that are uh, continuing to roll out uh, a 3G, 4G, 5G network and um, that's going to uh, improve the performance and uh, make it, uh, you know, give new possibilities. What advice would you give to a job seeker who's wanting to get into this industry? My advice would be to, uh, well, to pick up uh, industry know-how, the knowledge um, from, uh, well, people that are in the industry for longer and uh, there are quite some uh, complications and some specialties in mobility industries as well. Um, it's um, actually a quite um, established industry, uh, Intelligent Transportation Systems, ITS, has been built since uh, at least uh, 30 years or so and uh, think of the traffic signaling and uh, traffic operation centers, uh, uh, tro tolling solutions that have been around for very long. So a lot of the uh, things have already been established and they need to be taken into account. You cannot wipe that all out and um, just redo everything. It would be too expensive. So my advice would clearly be try to understand what's there, how people have been uh, working in that industry in the last uh, years and uh, take it from there and uh, use the new technologies to improve on what is there. How would you suggest people should stay current? So probably has everyone has their own way how they um, would best do it but uh, from for me it's really uh, important to uh, read um, newsletters daily, so I have subscribed uh, to some uh, newsletters that I get in my reader and um, uh, I uh, catch up on that through Reddit or others and uh, look at what is new in the technology and mobility industry. And then I also do, um, I love the Coursera classes or Udacity classes. I have actually also uh, participated in one of them where I taught and uh, I think it's amazing what kind of material you can get uh, for very little uh, money, uh, even free of charge. So there's uh, a lot of material out there uh, right at your fingertips. Just uh, look it up on the internet and you find amazing stuff. Thank you very much for spending some time with us today. It's been great to hear about your journey to New Zealand and um, what, what to expect of H HMI in the future. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks again for having me. It was a lot of fun. <laughs>